I think it was a you know, very important meeting as far as uh, Ukraine is, is concerned. We have made significant progress uh, in assuring uh, uh, Ukraine that it deserves you know, a seat uh, at the table as a permanent member of the alliance once uh, uh, the conditions are, uh, are appropriate. We've waived uh, the membership uh, action program uh, prerequisite and we've also made you know, very, very hard uh, uh, commitments both at the level of the alliance but also on a bilateral level that we will continue to support Ukraine for as long as it uh, uh, as it takes. So uh, in, in that sense, uh, I think we have uh, demonstrated that we're in uh, for, for the long run, that Ukraine does not walk alone uh, and that it can count on our uh, continuous uh, support. Mr Zelensky in advance this meeting worried that actually um, not getting an indication on membership, not getting an invitation would actually only encourage the aggressor, encourage Russia. Do you think that is the case because they didn't get their invitation? No, I think the opposite uh, will happen. First of all, uh, we are now an alliance that has 31 members, soon to be 32. Uh, uh, and I sort of applaud the fact that uh, uh, Turkey uh, has waived its uh, objections to, the, um, to Sweden joining the alliance. That in itself, I think, constitutes a, a significant geopolitical defeat for Putin and, uh, and Russia. We are now, uh, we are now a stronger uh, alliance, uh, more committed uh, than ever to, to defend not just our territorial integrity, but to provide Ukraine with, with, uh, with even more uh, assistance. Uh, you know, participating at the meeting, it was very, very clear that the resolve of the alliance uh, is is unwavering uh, and that we will only do more and not less and this is something which uh, should worry Russia very much uh, and, and should and should bolster President Zelensky uh, in the sense that uh, um, he has now a very clear path not just towards membership but also towards m making sure that he will meet his immediate uh, requirements when it comes to uh, significant defense support. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecchi and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.